That is so grim. This is something you won't see every day. Oh my god. They're just quick. That's now, the issue. Fine, you won't. Now, I'm just going to put this in and just stretch it a little. Feel funny. Just let me know if it hurts. It shouldn't hurt. It's just like a maggot anyway, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. How big do they feel under the skin? It's quite a cavity, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Is that sore when I do that? Not particularly. It's a bigger hole than I was expecting it for. Yeah. yeah. The, those two are the biggest holes, I think, in my neck. No, I'm okay thanks. I just want to, I don't want it to slip. I don't know how good these forceps are. It's a big one. Okay. Can I Oh, oh my god, you like that big? Yeah. Oh, that man. Yeah. Quite yeah. Bad there. A little bit. It just hurts a bit. Yeah. It's fine. It looks like it should hurt, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Oh, you bugger. <laughs> yeah, they're quick. That's the issue I had when I was trying to do it on my own. I couldn't squeeze, pull. What well, don't know you got one out at all. No. The ones no. I got out by myself were out more than this. They were literally halfway out, it was easy. Yeah, they were Relaxing some There we go. Can we pass you over No, good, thanks. Annoyingly so. Here we go. Yeah. Keep watching. Ouch. Okay. Sorry. It's alright. No, no, it's not hurting, don't worry. Do whatever you need. They're real punched out holes, aren't they? They're immaculate holes. Like a pinhole. Like a bullet hole in a pinhole. There's a game, because I'm in a There's quite a big hole in there, isn't it? Mm. Okay. And I don't know how deep they are. Let's have a thing in there. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to get them out yourself. No. no. Not great. No, these... Like, I'll use eyebrow tweezers. These aren't out as much as the ones were at the airport. These tweezers, the ones that you've got, like, teeth on them at the end. Yeah. yeah, Dad, you don't want to pull too much in case it ruptures. It's okay. 
did actually do it. Good girl, well done, Anna. Very well. You are a star. You are the bear grillis of the female world. <laughs> <laughs> you really are. <laughs> oh, <laughs> weird. <laughs> That's the third one. <laughs> is there a way to tell if there's more than one in a hole? Only if it, it yeah. Just have to wait and see, I think. Please don't, it's a real mess. Oh my god, there's doors hanging off and all sorts. I think you could add this to your CV, mate. Yeah. Definitely. Tropical disease. This is definitely experience in tropical disease. I'll take these fishing with you, Dad. Biting now. No, it's not, it's not as heavy yet. Those little black bits are like spines. I'm going to have nightmares about this tonight. <laughs> 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 Good Lord. Should only be one left. It's probably been having their antibiotics, I think, isn't it? Well, they release their own antibiotics, yeah. so the antibiotics by themselves probably haven't done anything. You, know, you don't get complicated, well, you don't really get infections from it. Yeah, you don't get infections, it's just scars when, when yeah. they come out. Yeah, because there's quite a big hole underneath there, so that's going to be the only issue that it's probably not going to heal that great. What we'll do right? is we'll flush the hole out, we'll get some saline. Have you got any yeah. saline around? We'll yeah, it could do with all getting cleaned up. I'll go and get, I'll go and have a look. Um, To be honest, you can probably get some really chemist. Yeah, I've got stuff in the There's a one in 14 million chance. Tormelinos for you. Is that what they say? Yeah, one in 14 million, and I got seven. It's probably slightly more dangerous tormelinos. Oh yeah, different type of bite though. Yes. And do you think you've got all of the holes at the same time? Yes. No, they definitely all appeared on the same day. Were they that large? The ones you pulled out. The slightly smaller. Look at them wriggling. Still that one's crawled right across there, well, though. That one is massive. And this one in the middle. I say, I wonder if you could um, preserve uh, them. Keep them. Dry, them. Kill them, dry them. You can keep them there. I'm sure Don't to you, them. of course. Because what if they can dehydrate or rehydrate and come alive again? <laughs> They're not going to take any risks. I was considering contacting like someone and seeing if they wanted to do. I read an article about a guy who had them. And he contacted like a uni or something mm. and said, I'm willing to keep them in my arm if you want to do research. Obviously, I wouldn't say that, but yeah. if someone wanted to practice or do research in them or something. Seriously. Oh, that's a Come on, blimey, Anna. I just thought your arm was really sore. Yeah. It, it was really sore, sore at times. It looks like it should be horrifically sore. Fully alive still, I mean, yes. Great disc things, aren't they? Well done, Guy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.